I have been coming to work with the English National Ballet since the direction of Derek Dean, and very often. I work for the Balanchine Trust. This is a foundation in New York that was started after the death of Balanchine in 1983. There are about 30 people that stage his ballets, and we go all over the world and make sure the ballets are taught exactly the way they were done and that they continue to live. I've staged both Balanchine's Apollo and Who Cares for the company. I think that Apollo was in the repertoire for many, many years. Who Cares was Derek Dean's idea and I think they're representative of what the company has done. There's no real story, there's a hint of a story here. You know, Apollo's born, and these three muses come down, and he, and he picks one, and he dances with her, and at the finale, we dance together and have a good time. It's as simple as that. I mean, of course, he based it on Greek mythology, and I think if you see photographs of the original, they had very heavy gold costumes and hats and things like that, and then he reduced it all to see the bodies and to keep it, to just give a hint of a story. It was, I think, the first neoclassic ballet created. It's so contemporary. I mean, both the music and the choreography. I mean, you have to remember that it was created in 1928. And both Balanchine and Stravinsky, I still sometimes look at the ballets that they did together and I go, these two little Russian men, how did they think this up? When he first went to America, Balanchine choreographed for several movies, uh, Broadway shows. He had a fascination for the jazzy American way. Well, we go to 1970 and he does a full ballet of 40 minutes to all the music of Gershwin, to songs that we've heard in elevators, you know, that everybody knows. Who cares? Just look at it and enjoy it. It's pure dance and pure music gorgeous costumes. When I teach it, I always say to the dancers, you know, it's like tap dancing on point. You have to have such a sense of rhythm. You have to be very musical. And it's the use of um, offbeat. You know, it's, it's pure jazz. I would stage a lot of the smaller ballets or medium-sized ballets for the company. And I grew to love this place. London Festival, English National Ballet were so special because they were the only company that had international array of dancers. And especially in the 90s, I mean, dancers from all over the world. And it gave the personality to this company. It was more interesting. And what has happened now is just amazing. I don't think there's a company in the world that has conditions like this. So, why not?